Alright guys, back again. Um, we've just hit the seven month mark now of this 1000 litre Aquariums for Life uh, reef tank that I've got in my basement. So I'm just going to do a seven month update and see how everything's going. I've had a few weird things going, there's been a little bit of coral bleaching. I've actually taken out the bubble tip and enemies now because they've walked over my strawberry shortcake and they've absolutely like killed it. So um, I managed to frag off a couple of little bits which I think are doing okay, so fingers crossed they're going to be alright. Um, yeah, so what I've done is I've actually sent off for an ATI ICP test and I've just had the results back of that. So I'm going to go through all the results of um, everything that they've tested for and uh, going to make some adjustments accordingly to what they've advised me to do and um, I can show you everything that's going on in the tank. Oh yeah, and one thing before we get started, um, I want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's liked, shared, um, commented on all these videos, it really spurs me on, so if you're on the fence and you haven't subscribed yet, click the uh, subscribe button, it really does help me out. So here we go, this was one of the reasons why I sent off the ICP test, because as you can see here, there's quite a, li uh, well, quite a bit of coral bleaching going on at the base of this um, really nice acro here which is like massively disappointing. Also this coral is not looking too happy at the moment either. There's definitely some lighter patches going on here. Which the focus isn't doing very well. And what's really sad is this is what's left of my strawberry shortcake, well one part of it up here, which has um, completely died off. Thankfully, I do have another one here which is looking to be fine, so I'm assuming that's just where the uh, bubble tip had walked all over that other one. So there is a lot of good going on in this tank, I mean you can see it's really flourishing, but unfortunately when it's your tank all you tend to see is the bad things. So I wanted to know what was going on and why these uh, bleaching episodes or things were happening. I mean I've got really good encrusting going on at the back here um, and everything else is looking to do really well. I mean even I kind of started to get on top of these funny little things now I think really scrubbing them once twice a week with the toothbrush they're nowhere near as bad as what they have been so um, I just got to stay on top of it. All the euphilias are looking really plump and lovely And down here, all of these are looking really nice. And again, more uh, encrusting onto the back there. So, yeah, I mean, loads of really good stuff going on. But like I say, it just annoys me when there's a few things that aren't looking so great. These um, are recovering. So here, there's a little bit of burnt coral and the ends of this one as well and that's from that bubble tip and enemy that walked over everything so um, I mean those ones have bounced back they're already growing over themselves so that's good so um, yeah hopefully everything else will recover nicely that's so pretty all right, and now I'm going to come to um, my ATI uh, re analysis results, which, um, yeah, I was quite surprised actually, because I feed this tank on an automatic feeder. I feed it sort of eight times a day, so it's on the maximum, uh, and it actually says that my phosphorus is limited and that I need to remove my GFO um, if I'm using it. Uh, and I need to adjust my iodine dose as well. So for my base elements, I've got 100%. My pollutants, I've got 100%. Uh, minor elements, I'm at 86%. And major elements, I'm at 85%. So when you look down, what I'll do is I'll actually put, try and see if I can put this up on the screen. All right, so the really good thing with this is that they give you recommendations. So you click on the recommendation box and then it basically tells you what you need to do to improve and what you need to add. And obviously everyone's is going to be different. So this was everything they told me that I would need to add. So stronium, mobilum, 
vendimedium, manganin, iodine, fluorum supplements, and all of these things, which I'm sure I'm saying wrong. Um, but it's really good they tell you, you know, how much you need to add for your size system. Um, and, you know, obviously it's just a guideline, uh, but it's just nice to know, isn't it? And um, it's really good to know what I need to add. So I found this all very helpful. I also found the way in which they lay everything out really easy to understand. You have a green tick for everything that's good. You have a red tick going sort of up. If uh, things are, if you've got too much of something, then you have the red arrow going down. If you've got too little of everything or anything, so yeah, I think um, they do a really good job of making it quite easy to understand because it does get quite confusing, and they are only a a goal. Um, but yeah, so it could explain a few things, so I'm really glad that I had this test done. Alright guys, that's it for today's update for my seven months of this uh, 1000 litre reef tank. Hopefully now that I know what's actually going on, so I've removed my, uh, my rower foss for now, and we'll, we'll play with it for a week and see how it goes. So yeah, and uh, if you haven't already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, do all the good things, and um, I'll catch you probably at the end of the week.